Lewis Dairy Milk on Route 24 in Lewis. To place your deli or carry out orders, call 302-945-0700. Radio check one, two, one, two. Jessica's juice is on Power 1017. You know, they always used to say, like, in radio, you get, like, a whole bunch of, like, stuff prepared, and when you don't even get through half of it, yeah. you had it the best show I ever. Oh, I know. You know, there's, like, so much I stuff know. you want to get to, but when you don't even get through half of a quarter of it, because of your other shenanigans, it was a good show. That means you had a great show. Right, well, I'm going right. to try to get through some stuff that we did not get through okay. earlier and try to squeeze it all in, okay? All right. What you got, Jess? All right, here's your update on the incident with Kyrie Irving, the alleged bottle thrower. He appeared in court, okay? All so right. your update. He is ordered to stay away from the TD Garden. That's the venue where the game was being played. His name is Cole Buckley. He's 21 years old, and he's a fan who allegedly old threw Cole. a water bottle at that Kyrie old Cole. Irving. And he did appear in court yesterday for his arraignment, and he was ordered to stay away from the TD Garden. He entered a not guilty plea for assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, and he was silent as he left the courthouse. Pictures are now trending. He is in the courtroom. He does have a suit on. He's standing straight at the judge, completely with a straight face, hands down to his side, just quiet and silent. And that's exactly how he left the courthouse. So Okay. As soon as we find out more information on that entire situation, we will definitely keep you up to date on that. But he's due back in court in August, okay? Also, some sports news with the NBA playoffs, all right? These are the results. So the 76ers came out on top. They did beat the Wizards 129-112. to They win that series four games to one. Don't know what's going on with Joel Embiid, though. No. So we will... You know, follow that entire situation because he was out for that game. Yeah, again. All right. um, the Hawks, they beat the Knicks 103 to 89. Atlanta wins that series four games to one. The Jazz beat the Grizzlies 126 to 110, and they win that series four to one. And the Mavericks beat the Clippers, and Dallas leads that series three to two. So that's a very, very close race there with these two teams. All right. Okay. Also, Duke. Hall of Fame coach. Yeah. They're calling him Coach K. Coach K, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um, He announced he's 74 years old, and he's going to retire. God. Yeah, he is going to retire. He says that he has had 1,170 career wins, with 1,097 of them being at Duke. What a career, man. What a career, Coach K. What What an icon, you know? Yeah, so he did announce yesterday that the next season will be his last. Crazy. So, that's some big sports news for you. Now, with Mendeecees and Yandy. Yes. They had a counseling session, okay? And more details are now coming out. Um, I know that we talked about this a little bit. I love in hip-hop series. But it's a well-documented on-screen love that is like playing out right in front of our eyes. So he was sentenced, as we know, with an 8- to 10-year prison um, sentence after being convicted of drug trafficking. Luckily for the couple, he was released last year, and he did spend four years behind bars. Now, with his release, the relationship has had some problems, and it continues. He recently made a comment while the two appeared on Couples Retreat, suggesting that he wouldn't stay with Yandy if she were locked up. If the shoes were on the other foot, I don't know what I would do. Well, that brought her to tears. Okay. Because she has stuck by his side through everything. He walked out during this latest therapy session, he got very annoyed with it because she said that she wasn't feeling appreciated. And she says, I kind of feel like if he builds me up too much, he'll think that I'm big headed. And then maybe he'll think I don't want to be with him anymore or that I'll leave. He denied that. Um, He got very upset. He left the counseling session and then he snaps. He says, I just want this beep to be over with. This beep is getting dumb, for real. We're going in circles right now. As a matter of fact, I don't even want to talk about this beep anymore. This is beep dumb. This beep sounds dumb, and this is stupid. And then he storms out. Okay. He did. Crazy. Well, I tell you what, Yandy has stuck with him. She has. She's been a trooper in the she relationship. She really, really has. So we're not sure how this is going to you know, end up for these two. I'm not um, saying that he trying. owes her. But I'm just saying, like... They're trying to, like, work through all these relationship issues. She would have done anything for him. It's happening right in front of our eyes. Okay. Being recorded, we get to see it. So everybody pretty much, you know, is giving their opinion on that entire situation. I hope that they stick it out and work it out. Yeah. I do. I really do. And then Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty. 
Now, you know, she recently came back onto social media after her father was hit by a vehicle, killed. She went away for a little bit. Well, now she is back, and she posted some pictures of her and Kenneth. Okay. Some of them are very sexy and provocative. There's one where she has on a lingerie top, lace see-through, the pants where she has, you know, some cleavage All showing. All right. And she says, quote, I can still go to my hood, and they know that my body is good. Then the next picture, she put, yup, yup, bling, bling. If the watch is out, tell them to watch out. And then you can see her hand there with a diamond bracelet, diamond watch, and every finger has diamond rings on it. So she's coming out, and she's making a statement. Okay. Um, Check out all those pics on her Instagram. I have a quick story before we go to break. Uh, You know, some people make jokes about this all the time, but there's a new study. Uh Uh-oh. Here we go. (laughs) That men's brains and and testicles may have... Oh, my gosh. What is going on? May have very similar cells. University uh, researchers compare proteins from 33 tissue types found in testes and brains. Uh Uh-oh. Here we go. And have more than 13,000 proteins in common, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. many of which are involved in tissue development and cell communication. They also found similarities between human neurons and sperm, finding they both go through the same process to do different things. Researchers said this is a underexplored topic, and the connection between these tissues need to be clarified, which could help to understand the dysfunction affecting oh, brain my. and testes. As well as, <laughs> as well as to Bill. develop improved therapeutic strategies. Bill. So, if you're looking for pro, where do you come up with this stuff? If you're looking no, for protein, I, no. From now on, I have to screen what you're doing over there, what you're looking up. <laughs> no, this is on our no, gossip sheet. No, no. All of a sudden, a study no finds thing. that in I men, something to fill you. The in brain on. and the testes have more than thirteen thousand proteins. Uh-uh. So if your doctor says you need to get... No. If the doctor says what? What? <laughs> Watch out now. <laughs> <laughs> You're sick. A55. You're sick. <laughs> A55. More hits.